Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to stage five of Desert Brutality. This stage was brought to you by We Plead the Second. They do Cerakote work, they do Glock frame stippling and modifications, and they do incredible holsters like the Chuck Wallace we use for our Roland Specials. Yes, indeed. All right, guys, we are back. Stage five of Desert Brutality. Today we're in the back canyons of the Cowtown Range, and we are doing run and gun stages in live field conditions. Yeah, this is absolutely field conditions. Most of the stages back here today are cro shooting across canyons, running up mountains, through sand washes, etc. And this is our day two, so we've already been through four stages of this yesterday. Yeah. So we got four more of that today. Yeehaw! So on this stage, you start in a sand wash and you run up to the first tank trap position and there are two steel targets that are obscured by quite a bit of brush yep. um, that you have to hit uh, twice each, but with no double tap. So one, 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 one. Yep. Then you move to the next tank trap and that changes the angle of attack on the same targets, same thing. Then you run up to the targets that have been neutralized and there's to your left, two more targets, not as obscured. Right. Same thing, tap, 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 tap. Then up the hill to another tank trap, which is extremely unstable. Yep. And then there are targets quite a bit out there at this point, right? Yep. A couple hundred yards now. Yep. Over a canyon. Three of them. And so tap, 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 tap. Then you move to the final bunker, and there is one long range, full size IDPA target that you need two hits on. Yep. So. so Bounding and shooting, 20 hits total. That doesn't sound like much, but when you see this stuff in the field, and when you start seeing ranges in the field that you see at the normal range, when you see a target at 100 yards on a square range, it looks like it's right there. When you see a target 150 yards in the canyon, it looks far away. Well, let's go find out if we can do it. Let's see what happens. Can't see it. Hit. Hit. Hit.
All right, so that was the first of our actual live terrain canyon runs. Yep. I was thinking it would be harder and cooler and more interesting than the ones in the bays. Mm -hmm. I think it kind of was. Okay. Um, having the targets, you know, like at, at the monthly two-gun matches, mm -hmm. we're pretty used to having unpainted targets against the, the just the, the flat background of a berm. Mm -hmm. And we had that yesterday, yeah. and those were those can be difficult targets to see. Today we had it not against a flat colored berm, but against shadows, dirt, terrain, bushes. And a bunch of these targets were also quite difficult to see. Yeah, they sure were. Um, even like the middle set were nicely painted black. Yep. For us, and I think this will change later in the day, they were in the shadows. Yeah, they were. So in between shots, I actually looked up from my sights every time to be like, where, where is the target? Okay, there it is on the sights and then hit it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's one of those things where the target's not that far away. That's, what was it, 75? Yeah, the first target array was 75. The second was probably about 50. And then one up on the hill, they were out at about 200 and 250. Yeah, yeah. those short range ones, you wouldn't think a 75 yard rifle target is that hard, but when, it's, when the hard part is finding it and then hitting it, that yep. kind of adds an extra step. That's exactly what went wrong for me. Uh, you know, aperture sites are a huge improvement over what you would consider traditional AK sites. But there's something about the gross front post and this rear aperture that's just not working that well for me. Um, okay. When I was trying to look at those targets, I could see the targets quite well without the gun. And the minute I bring my sight picture up, they literally just disappeared. I was shooting in where I thought they were. There were some of the hits I got on that packet of three at 200 yeah. where the RO called a hit and I'm like, awesome. I will aim at that great splot again then this is why you saw kind of me just honestly volume of fire because i got to the point where i really could not see the target superimposed on the front post i just couldn't i don't know if your sighting system's a little more fine so one of the advantages this thing has is it has a substantially narrower front post yeah this is a big is. old ak style post looks like a thumb sticking out there i'm not sure about the the rear aperture yeah i don't know i think they're fairly similar yeah, but this is pretty tiny the the size of the front sight really does make a big difference yep that said I have pulled a fairly substantial lead. Yeah, you got 50 seconds on me combined from yesterday and today now. And there are only, at, that I can think of, like three times in the past when I've had that much lead and lost it, so. That ain't gonna happen. Uh, but we'll see, we got three stages left. But well, I, mean, I would not be sad to win Classic with an awesome FAMAS. No, but we've fun. got three stages before any of that's gonna happen. Go! Safety on, move to your left. Good muzzle. Hit! 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 Safety on, move forward. High. Hit! 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 Safety on, up the hill.
safe? Move up. Bunker. Finish unloading. Bag out. Charge it. 